I guess that you know this already that Dr. Disrespect apparently is banned from the Call of Duty events. You didn't know that? Well, welcome to the club. Now you know. How you all doing? Like the video if you ever leave the kids alone. Dislike the video if you think it's perfectly fine for 8-year-old kids to change their gender. You don't understand what's going on? Well, let's actually get into it. Get ready for the main event. Got a video for y'all. Roll it. Dr. Disrespect has called out Activision and Call of Duty and the internet is going crazy over that. It's the yeah. demise of the franchise! That's what it is! I call it the demise of the franchise! Okay, how many times we've said that, but it's like never dying. But wait for it, wait for the main event. And obviously, we, we also have Chris from Mr. Beast also responding. We're gonna take a look at that in a second. Uh oh. His tweet has over 4 million views. The internet has a lot of opinions on this, and so do I. Now, up front, I don't watch Dr. Disrespect consistently. However, I do fully respect what he does and i know why he has such a big audience because yeah, he's incredibly yeah. entertaining it's just not Absolutely. something i watch consistently it's just going to be cod the demise of the franchise but i think he's an important voice in the gaming world i'm still a little upset that he just played titanfall 2 for the first time ever but that's neither here nor there shout out to titanfall 2 the greatest Damn. fps ever made you agree you disagree hey hey Titanfall 2 greatest? Titanfall 2 greatest? I want to know how many of you agree. One if you agree, two if you disagree. Violence, speed, momentum. That's right. A game 10 plus years old. It don't matter. But we're talking about Call of Duty. Now, I've been playing Call of Duty since the OG days and then obviously the great glory days of Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Black Ops 2. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. You don't even know me. I, I started with Black Ops 1, man. Good times, bro. I always like... Man, it kind of brings me back, bro. Like, it used to be so good, bro. Like, you know, you had no worries, man. It's like, come from school, just hop on, play. Sickers would be, <laughs> the sickers would be going crazy. Lobbies would be lit. Everybody would have mic. You wouldn't have to worry about AI chat listening and AI moderation. You didn't have to worry about getting banned. And it's like, you would hop on with your homies. And, uh, bro, good times, man. Good times. We stop running our mouths. Go. Stop. Everybody had a mic back then. I wish there was a way you know? to know you're in the good old days. Before you left Before them. you've actually left them. Man. Black Ops 1 is still the GOAT, in my opinion. I didn't really play Call of Duty beyond Call of Duty Ghost for several years. I then started playing uh, yeah. again late into the you. run on Modern Warfare 2019, and that kind of got me back into the games for a little while. I enjoyed Cold War. Hell, I even... Uh, Black Ops Cold War right now is considered by a lot of people to be the best Call of Duty game uh, yeah, b because you see it was uh, made by Treyarch and it's the last good game that had decent zombies But still the zombies don't get me wrong like zombies even in Black Ops Cold War was not as good as something like Black Ops 2 zombies Black Ops 3 zombies, but it's the last good one for sure and liked Vanguard I'm one of the seven people on the planet that liked Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer <laughs> And then a lot what? happened over the next few years, but I stopped playing. That's criminal bro. That's criminal. That's gotta be criminal playing after the Nick Merckx situation happen i saw a tweet and i didn't like what i was seeing man now if you don't know about the nick Merckx story it was a situation where nick Merckx had an individual opinion yeah. on his personal twitter account and activision and call of duty basically decided Remote that that it, was an yeah. anti-lgbtq plus c yeah, saying leave the kids alone is consider, uh, consider anti LGB. Uh, and apparently, wait for the main event though. Ma this is not the main event, guys. Wait for the climax. Wait for the main event. I guess we call it plot twister. So, Chris Tyson used to be a brother, now became a sister. Uh, Chris is from Mr. Beast. And uh, when Mr. Uh, Dr. Disrespect made uh, this tweet, they responded by saying anti trans dog whistle versus silly weed stuff. It's like now saying leave the kids alone is considered considered that like what the hell bro 10 years ago like leave the kids alone yeah it was normal now you, you say that it's like anti-trans you're wrong you know misogyny uh, uh phobic phobic everybody want to play like phobic phobic that's transphobic and all that like what the hell bro like what we d3po plus lgdp uh, lgt lbg whatever hell they're adding to the damn um alphabet mafia bullshit now excuse me it's ma'am it's ma'am it is ma'am he Move. said, leave kids alone in response to a, an LGBT, pro-LGBT, anti-LGBT protest or something like that. And he simply just said, leave kids alone on Twitter. So I saw parents bra brawling in front of a fucking 
school with kids. I just didn't. I just didn't. I just didn't fucking like it. And yeah. during that time, he had an operator skin within Call of Duty, and they decided to remove that operator skin effective immediately. Effect absolutely effective immediately. It was absolutely insane. And you want to know what? What did you want to know? What they did? You want to know what they did? They had that friendly AI. They did drop that BBC bundle skin though. And the funniest thing here is that like they invited Nick Marks to their studio. Okay. It's, I don't know if it's the funniest or the saddest, but it's like they invited him to the studio. He went there. They scanned his entire body, including his BWC as well. Bruh. They put him in the game and then removed, but they still kept files on him. Like, why? Why y'all suck us keeping files on him, right? And then they dropped the BBC bundle. Then they dropped that, 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 uh, right nowadays we got that $80, uh, you know, King Kong punch as well, that gorilla punch, $100 camel bundle as well. It's insane, bro. It is crazy, bro. It blew my mind. And then Tim the Tap Man stood by his friend and said, Hey, if you're going to remove his, you need to remove mine. I stand with my friend, which I thought was pretty damn cool. I know him, bro. And I truly do not think he meant to hurt anyone with what he said. And so this created a lot of controversy. Now, around that time is when I stopped playing Call of Duty. And uh -oh. do I still like playing Call of Duty? Absolutely. I enjoy playing Call of Duty, especially some of these newer games. I've enjoyed the multiplayer aspect of it. Have I thought about going back to it? 1000% have I. But I haven't up to this point. And that's just my individual decision yeah. as to how I've approached this. Now, you have other people like Nick Merckx who stopped playing for a significant amount of time. Tim the Tap Man stopped playing for a significant amount amount of time and Dr. Disrespect. They all stopped playing. What we gotta do. Uninstall. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, like, they stopped playing for, like, a couple of months, right? I would say uh, almost a year or less than a year or maybe a year. Could be wrong. Uh, and a lot of people are, are also calling them hypocrite and saying that you're going back to the game. Mm, yeah, I mean, that's your opinion. Fair, that's your opinion. But here's the thing, though. Like, yeah, it's kind of disrespectful. Of, 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 uh, I would say to Nick Marx, right? Because Nick Marx, they invited him out, invited him out, scanned his entire body. They slapped him. They clapped his cheeks, and he was let go. And he was like, "Bro, okay, we're not, we're, we're not gonna put your, put you in the game no more. But we're gonna keep files on you because you came here, right? We gotta keep receipts on you." So they they did that. They kicked him out. It's like going to your friend's house and. He's like slaps you, he claps your cheeks, and then just kicks you out, you know what I'm saying? And, and then you fall on the ground and you get to taste dirt, and it's like, and they tell you never come back. That's what happened, that's their treatment, Nick Marx ended up receiving, and now he got back to playing. I mean, that's his personal decision, but, but, but and I know a lot of people are calling him a hypocrite. The, the positive that I see from Nick, Doc, Tim stopping uh, from playing is that when they stopped playing, a lot of other people also stopped playing at that time. And that actually hurt their wallets. And this apparently made headlines as well. This made national news. So I think it br brought in a lot of like really good positive discussion and a lot more awareness, right? A lot of YouTubers were talking about it, myself included. You guys were talking about it. Shout out to you as well. It, it, so I, I feel like that the positive definitely did outweigh the negative. Right now, yeah, they're they're going back to playing it, but they're also calling out the the bad microtransaction stuff, all that bull squash that's going on. So they're calling out. It's not like they're they're back playing it and they're like, yeah, guys, it's the best game. It's the best game. It's the best game ever. They're not saying it's the best game ever. They're calling it out so i'm 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 having a positive outlook from uh, on it uh, i want to know your thoughts for sure uninstall the game and i don't really know what type of impact that had on call of duty at all or did it have any impact i'm not really sure but now you yeah, have this tweet can. from dr disrespect where he just says activision pushing water bongs marijuana get high levels drugs and 100 dollars cameos on gamers but they removed nick Merck's skin for him saying leave kids alone activision is ran by a bunch of idiots biggest suit and tie phonies in the industry that has 82,000 likes and it has over 4 million views over now i want to make it very very simple because a lot of people were like bro like we had the next week we had that coco for a while and yeah true we had that and personally i got no problem with it being in the game because it's an 18 plus game so i have no problem and um, a lot of people are also getting confused with it too doc does not mean that remove that
that uh, remove this stuff from the game. He just means that you're gonna have this, but you're gonna remove Nick's skin for him simply saying leave the kids alone, you see? And then Chris comes out, says that anti-trans dog whistle. It's not an anti-trans dog whistle. Simply just leave the kids alone. We watch so many reviews, bro, on YouTube about like buying a phone. I'll just keep it simple, bro. Like we buy so many, we, we, we watch so many reviews before buying a product, but it's nowadays it's like completely okay for an eight year old to change their gender when they cannot even think critically when they don't even know what's going on right at that at, at this at that young of an age you do not even know what you're doing bro you do not even know where you at let kids be kid let's let kids just uh, learn their abcds one two three and play with other kids like normal kids r would right let them run around. Let them run around. Let 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 them just uh, uh, get their running like that. that, that yeah, you, you feel what I'm saying? Come on, dog. What are we talking about here? So now this is considered anti-trans dog whistle. Absolutely crazy times we're living in, guys. Am I the crazy one? I don't know. I don't know. We're on Twitter, and the discussion here has been, well, Doc, you're calling them out, but you still play the game. So how how do you explain that? A lot of people are saying it's hypocritical, things yeah. like that. My take on Yeah, I've been seeing that a lot, actually. ...on this is... I have no problem that Dr. Disrespect still plays the game. I have absolutely no problem with that whatsoever. Okay. I also don't have a problem if he doesn't play the game. It's really his individual right to do whatever he wants. Whatever, yeah. I do what I want. But let's call it like it is. He is playing the game, and he's calling them out. Do I have a problem with that? I don't. I don't have a problem that these guys are still playing this game, yet they're calling him out. Because do we just want a bunch of shills? What do we do with people that actively consume products and never criticize it? We call them shills. Just yep. consume product. Well, now you have a guy who's playing the game and benefiting greatly from the game, yet he's still willing to call them out on their bullshit. I don't see how that's a problem. I think that's a net positive. If you have the top of the streaming world for Call of Duty. If you have guys that are pulling 20, 30, 40,000 people live watching them and they're still willing to call Call of Duty out on their bullshit, I think that's a good thing. I don't yeah, think that would cause a lot of damage as well. And that would also get people, yeah, 20, 30, 40, or how many people are watching? A uh, thousand, uh, obviously. Uh, but but uh, yeah, it's gonna make other people question and think about it and it's gonna bring awareness so from this standpoint uh, i mean i was kind of like talking a little bit of the same b earlier before he brought this point I, I do agree with it because like it's gonna bring in discussion and hopefully if everybody talks about it and hopefully uh or not everybody but like majority talks about it and the majority is on the same page because i feel like that when they drop the 80 dollars king kong king kong bind out everybody or majority let's just say was on the same page and i called it out you perhaps called it out as well so that's why i'm saying shout out to you so i think it's a good thing i think it's a good thing like calling them out is absolutely a good thing but guys get ready for the main event we're getting yeah uh oh we're getting down to the main event but real quick i want to say i have a second channel this is where i upload ufo and conspiracy content every single day and recently we just did a project blue video too though oh, yeah cannot say the full name here because uh yeah every time i talks about it the video gets hit so uh this video also got a little bit of uh it's not necessarily showing up in the search results but you can actually catch it up on scary x as well okay check it out if you're into it but let's get back to the content now boo boo i think that's a bad thing at all but that decision by cod's pr marketing team <laughs> uh i'll tell you right now man that's a tough one. That's a tough one to digest for the two times. Because ultimately, if guys like Doc and Tim and Nick Merckx walk away from the situation completely, and you just have a bunch of shills that are going to praise this stuff no matter what, I don't think that that helps the long-term benefits to what we're trying to accomplish here. I know some people have an issue with this, and I totally understand where they're coming from. But yeah. at the end of the day, if we're going to call people out for being shills for... People that watch movies or play games and never criticize it. Well, now we're criticizing a guy who plays the game at the highest levels, pulls in the most viewers, but is still willing to call them out on their bullshit. Mm, yeah, that, that's a that's a good point, though. That's a good point. But I, I know some of you will disagree with it and absolutely go for it. But yeah, the way I see it is that, like, how many things you're going to boycott, though? <laughs> 
What? How many do you think are, are you gonna boycott? I'm pretty sure a lot of you are like, hey, I'm gonna boycott this, but you're still playing. Maybe not you, you, you specifically. Um, and you know what? Shout out to you. Like, if you're a cold turkey on it, if you're like going cold turkey, yo, shout out to you. You got my respect. But also, it's, it's, if you're somebody that's like not shilling for it, uh, for example, dog stopped playing for a while. Now he back at it. He's calling them up. I, I'd say, and, and now this is making discussion again. This is causing discussion. A lot of people are talking about it. I'm talking, you talking, we all talking. So I think it's a, it's a good thing. But but I also do believe that if you're gonna re-pick up the game, don't spend money on microtransactions though. Now I'm the type of guy I would I would not tell you what to do. But in this case, if you agree with the message and you are sick and tired of the woke bull crap and the stuff that's happening in gaming, whether you don't care about the woke or no woke stuff, if you don't care about it, perfectly fine by me. If you don't care, you don't care, right? But I'm pretty sure you care about like everything being like twenty dollar bundle, twenty dollar skins. They're prioritizing actual in-game content. Uh, and replacing that, I should say, replacing the in-game content and they're prioritizing $20 bundles. Like, imagine you paying like $70 USD for a game and then you gotta pay $20 every week to get yourself new content. If you're sick and tired of that, yeah, don't buy it. But if you're not sick and tired of that, well, I guess uh, keep on buying, I guess. FUCKING GAME! It's like a lose-lose situation. It's like nothing the guy can do is going to work. I think it's a good thing that people like Dr. Disrespect and Tim the Tap Man and Nick Merckx are going to continue to play games like this and hold the company accountable because it normalizes calling this bullshit out. Oh, man. Oh, fuck it. Now, don't punch it the camera. It makes it to where camera. more people are going to feel comfortable to call this bullshit out and hold the company accountable. So I really don't have a problem with this. Yeah. Fucking hate this game. That's yeah. my overall take on the situation. And, and guys, recently we have Tim the Tap Man, though. He called out you want to know who he called out though he called out one of the biggest streamer out there and what did he do uh, uh, yeah check it out otherwise you're gonna be thinking about it uh and, and yeah you don't want to be thinking about it you want to just check out what happened check it out and i'll see you right there massive drama guys